I want to just um, end with this just to make you aware of a few things. Um, there's a couple exercises we didn't get time to do. Um, the main lesson here, the language in science always includes conditional words. Might, appears to be, under some circumstances. Don't exclude those words. They're the most important words in science because they put limits to the kinds of conclusions that you can make about a particular study. Be skeptical. Even be skeptical of your professors. Just because Professor Chamberlain says it's true doesn't make it true. Make it true. Just because Kevin Costner or Leonardo DiCaprio or Britney Spears or Lady Gaga says it's true doesn't mean that it's true. You should always develop a healthy skepticism. And really, the other, uh, oh, I didn't want to do that. Question your assumptions. People thought, oh, there's no way that oil would be on the bottom of the ocean. Oil floats. In the, uh, or you can email me for this. This website that I've set up has over 100 references. I have headlines that I've saved, uh, scientific references. I'm breaking down oil. Um, and any day now, Sunday, they're predicted to actually kill the well, which means they're going to cement it off permanently, and it will never harm us. Again, uh, the Gulf of Mexico, NOAA, is um, providing an online course for the public. If you're interested in learning more about the deep water ecosystems that might be affected, and uh, National Geographic next month, which is coming out pretty soon, will feature the Gulf oil spill. Uh, this, I think, was made for Sir Fryer. I uh, thank you very much for being here.